Today I'm gonna be trying something called kimbap. Now, kimbap actually means kim, which is dried seaweed, and pap, which means rice. But it's not quite that simple. Now, you might think this looks like sushi, and it was inspired by it, but the ingredients are completely different. For starters, the main difference is that the rice isn't made with vinegar like it is in Japanese rolls, it's made usually with sesame oil instead. Now, the common ingredients in kimbap are things like radish, egg, cucumber, ham, uh, carrots, and sometimes imitation crab. But there are also different kinds of varieties, such as ones that include beef. Uh, I actually have one here that has bulgogi in it, or squid, or tuna, or other things like that. And the benefit of kimbap also is that it's fully cooked, so it's great for taking on places such as the park. Now there are three benefits to kimbap. Uh, one of them is that it fills you up. It's a lot of ingredients and a lot of that's rice, so usually just one or two and anyone will be full from that. Also, it's pretty healthy and tastes good. And finally, what I think is the most important thing about kimbap and why I like to eat it so often is that it's really dirt cheap. Uh, usually a roll is only around $1.50 or $2 for some rolls, and you can get fancy ones for $4, but um, generally they're pretty cheap. So anyway, this is the regular kind of kimbap, and you can see it just has cucumber and egg and ham and carrots and a few other things in there. This is usually the kind I'd recommend if you're gonna have it for the first time, so I'll give it a try. It has like a really nice, simple taste. There's really no way that someone could dislike this food as it's, it's really simple, I guess, unless you don't like happiness. So I'm gonna try the spicy pork. I've never had this kind before. That's like really good. It's not really that spicy, but it has just enough spiciness that it tastes really good. And I'm gonna try the Pugogi one. Mm. Tastes like Pugogi. Although if you've never had Pugogi before, uh, I wouldn't recommend trying it your first time inside of a kimbap. So if you get a chance to try kimbap in Korea, definitely recommend it and it won't blow your wallet. Kurum tametoba. It smells bad, but it tastes so good. Gopchang is actually, it comes from the small intestine of the cow. If you're a fan of fried seafood, this is especially great. 